Hi, uh, can I ask you your name, please? Yeah, my name is Jerry. Jerry, why do you come to this place? I come down here uh, basically because I'm uh, still, after many years, still uh, grieving the death of uh, my aborted child uh, here in Rockford in 1981. And I come down here to uh, try to persuade, help persuade mothers that they do not have to do this, that it is not a necessary thing, and that. Uh, that they can actually turn to God for their help in, the, in their time of need. Uh, Jerry, do you think it makes a difference that Christians come here to pray and offer help? I think it absolutely makes a difference, and I think prayer is the number one uh, thing. That's the key word there. Uh, without the prayers, um, I think that uh, people just uh, don't have any kind of resource to rely on. And uh, there's more than prayers being offered here. There's people who also offer practical help. Uh, that would include financial help, uh, comfort in areas of counseling, uh, even adopting children if that becomes necessary. Uh, so what do the pro-lifers do when they come here? Do they just pray or do they all do anything else? There are a variety of things. The Rockford Register of Star likes to put us into three categories. They try to say that we are demonstrators, protesters, and just people that come to pray. I think that the majority of us probably do a combination of the three, but the demonstration isn't uh, like the old days that we think of from Vietnam and things of that nature. It's, uh, it's all peaceful and it's all done legally. Uh, so that, there's a combination of those things going on, and I think there's also a, uh, a lot of camaraderie that happens down here that crosses denominational lines that normally wouldn't happen in a church. Jerry, have you ever witnessed uh, a mother turn around in this, at this place and choose life because there have been Christians here? Yes, I have, and uh, I'm not a real teary type of person, but there have even been times when that, that has brought tears to my eyes. Thank you, and God bless you, Jerry. Good morning. May I ask your name, please? My name is Father Butler. And, uh, Father, why do you come down here? Well, I come down here to, uh, to pray and to help, hopefully, these women who are considering abortions to change their minds and to choose life. I come here because of the, fresh, the preciousness of life within their womb. Yeah, why do you suppose the people inside this building do the things that they're doing? Well, part of it, I think they... Um, they just don't understand um, the human life, the preciousness of life within the womb. And part of it is they, they, want, to, uh, they want to believe what the culture tells them, that uh, they can pretty much um, excuse you know, their, their, their behavior and rationalize the way people do something to, to make it okay. Thirdly, I think they do this for money, that they may be able to put money in their pockets. Okay, Father, do you come down here often? I come down here almost every day. This facility is open. Okay, do you plan on continuing to come down in the future? I do, I do. I think it's important that there's a, a priest that's present here to support the other the others that are praying and counseling and to be a, a witness to those that are coming in of Jesus Christ. Well, Father, thank you very much for your ministry down here, and uh, God bless you. Thank you. Good morning. What is your name? Mary. Beth. And, and uh, why do you ladies come down here? We just want to pray. We're just asking God to stop this evil in our world. We obviously, okay. sometimes feel like we can't do enough, but we know that the power of God will make this stop. Okay, well, what is this building that we're standing near? This is the abortion mill. Do you think that's why uh, people do the things that they do inside there, because they think it's a, a good decision? They think it's going to make something disappear, that their life will not be affected by it. It's an impulsive reaction to a panic, and it has repercussions. Most of them think that they don't have any other choice. We want them to know that they have another choice. Hey, do you come down here often? Okay, and do you plan on coming down in the future? Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for your work down here. God bless you. Good morning. What is your name? My name is Brittany Brady. Well, Brittany, uh, why do you come down here? 
We came down here because of the Holocaust, because all these children deserve someone to be here for them and for their mothers who are scared and they don't know where to turn, just to be here to offer help and, and love because that's what they need. They don't know that they're loved, especially for these children. Brittany, why do you suppose the people who work inside this building do the things that they do? I think that they try to numb out reality, what they're doing. They do it because they think that um, possibly they're tricked into thinking they're actually helping women. Um, they think maybe they need the money so much that they don't care what they do. Um, I really don't know. I wish I could talk to some of the workers and find out, but I honestly don't know how someone could kill another person and and think that that's okay. You come down here often, Brittany? Um, I try to come down once a week, but normally lately it's every other week. So I um, try to make a commitment. I could do better <laughs> in that myself, but I try I tr try harder every day. So we'll see. It just depends on when I can come. So you plan on coming down in the future then? Oh, definitely. Okay, well that's great. Well, thank you very much, Brittany. God You're bless welcome, you. Dear. Good morning. What is your name? My name is Jackie Hatfield. Well, Jackie, uh, have you been coming down here very often? I started coming down when we did our last 40 Days for Life campaign. That was the first time I was ever here. Um, and I come down during 40 Days for Life. Okay, and why do you come down here, Jackie? Because I believe in the sanctity of life and that all life is precious and should never be destroyed. Okay, what exactly is this building that we're standing near? This is Turner School, the old Turner School, the abortion clinic in Rockford. Okay. Why do you suppose the people who work in here do the things that they do, Jackie? Because they have scales on their eyes and they don't realize what they're doing. They believe that they're helping women. Okay, do you plan on coming down here in the future? Yes. Okay, well thank you very much, Jackie, and God bless you. Right, good morning. What is your name? Jerry McCarville. Okay, what exactly is this building that we're standing near? It's the, it's the uh, abortion mill. Oh. And it's, uh, it was formerly a school building, which makes it even more atrocious that they're now killing babies there. Okay. Why do you suppose the people who work in this place do what they do, Jerry? I have no idea, but I hope it's because uh, they don't know any better. I okay. just have to pray for their conversion. That's great. And uh, do you plan on continuing to come down here in the future? Oh, definitely. Well, thank you very much, Jerry, and God bless you. Good morning. What is your name? I'm Sister Rosiel de Muller. And Sister, uh, why do you come down here? I come down here because I think it's deplorable that babies are killed. And it's so sad that when someone is dying, there's no one to be present. So at least we can be present. And hopefully by our presence, mothers will choose like and many of them do. Hey, what exactly is this building that we're standing near? Well, it's an old schoolhouse, the Turner Schoolhouse, set where children used to be taught. And now children are killed. Well, why do you suppose the workers in this building do what they do, sister? You know, I really think it probably is because they don't know any better. And I say God forgive them because they don't know any better. And for some of them, it probably is the money that they do. And do you plan on coming down here in the future? Absolutely. Someone has to stand by these children and by the mothers and by our presence that hearts will be converted and also those of the abortionist. Well, thank you very much, sister, and thank you for your ministry and work down here. Thank God you bless very you. Good morning. What is your name? Okay, my name is Richard Barr. And Richard, why do you come down here? I come down here because it disgusts me on what's going on inside this building. And uh, what is this building, Richard? Well, the building, as you see on the sign, is it used to be an old school, which has been converted into a uh, abortion clinic, and the whole concept is uh, sickening to the human race. Okay, why do you suppose the workers in this building do what they do, Richard? For money. It's all part of money.